Alright, kembali kita dalam another episode of Show Real Official podcast from Astro Show Where we deep dive into the content in Astro Show Kita ada apa pagi kat Astro Show? Okay Ah, huh? Astro Show? Ah, ada apa? Sekarang? Ah, yelah kan <laughs> Kenapa? <Kedahulu. laughs> Sekarang Macam kita ada someone yang Oh ya, yeah. kita ada tetamu istimewa hmm. malam ni Um, kalau korang tengok kita punya latest Astro Originals Then you guys would know her Yes Kita ada dalam studio dengan kita Oh dalam by the way dalam oh. character dia Dalam tu dia seorang filmmaker Oh betul Which is kena lah ah, Kena lah dengan you know Cerita Our oh, podcast betul Ha nah, show me Dan kita <laughs> ada dengan kita Eliza Azizi Yeay <laughs> Apa khabar? Khabar baik Alhamdulillah Puasa Jaya Puasa. tanya dulu <laughs> so, ah, Itu macam sensitif Sangat sensitif oh, oh. Sebab takut nanti kan Jaya Jaya Awak puasa? <laughs> Baru hari ke? <laughs> hari ke tujuh okay. Hari ke tujuh depends on orang <laughs> yeah. Ada orang tu pun hari ketiga <laughs> Mungkin dia ada harinya <laughs> <laughs> Jadi Eliza Saya tahu yang sekarang ni Awak punya latest show is ID Which mm-hmm. is an Astro Original mm-hmm. So dalam ID awak main watak apa? Hmm, Dalam ID I main watak Ali Ali Mukris Her actual name is Alia okay. kan? Since episode 4 dah lepas mm-hmm. <laughs> And the character name is Alia um, She is a film film enthusiast Definitely um, Keeps everything to herself ada seorang je kawanan dunia. <laughs> And then, <laughs> dia ni api yang membara tau. Kan, dia, jiwa muda. Jiwa muda. Uh, you know like how we are young kan. Kan kita macam, aku nak buat short film yang bantah kerajaan. Ya, yeah, faham. Ya, yeah, so and she has a lot of background yang yang hanya ID je tahu and she keeps it that way because mm-hmm. i rasa kenapa Ali buat macam tu because it's easier mm-hmm. kan daripada you sibuk nak nak kena you know like how people would like talk about the their problem mm-hmm. validation from other people they just macam nah i'll just leave with my friend and that's it so macam so your character is Ali as someone who is very secretive kan yang mm-hmm. macam ada seorang kawan baik and you know basically it's just the two of them against the world yes. say kan Would, do you see yourself as someone like Ali? Yes. <laughs> I don't think that's a sad thing. But... <laughs> 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 Tapi... Oh, yes. I'm very young. But then because I membesar dengan kawan-kawan. Mm. Sebab I form 1 sampai form 5 duduk asrama. Uh, oh. well, yes, I had that asrama life. I had that... Right. <laughs> I have that kudrat life. <laughs> <laughs> I, apa setia? <laughs> setia for giving <laughs> cool. So growing up with with a lot of friends dekat asrama, you only depend on your friends, right? Mm. Family jauh ke Johor kot. Come oh. on, I don't care. Lah. Empat <laughs> <laughs> jam lah jumpa parents. Yeah. Eh. So um, membesar dengan kawan-kawan, you tend, you senang nak filter kawan yang you uh-huh, nak simpan yeah. dengan kawan yang you nak take benefit, yang you nak take benefit dengan kawan yang take benefit of you. Yeah, yeah. takut ah. lagi. <laughs> ah, because oh, I grew up, I took a lot of benefits to other, from yeah. other people. I've, of course lah, you yeah. know, everybody's an opportunist. But, yeah. It's just that you know and then so because my whole life I've been through an art school uh, this is something that I think I would like to share it's called Sini Johor I, okay. I'm a product of that <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of people who I know from school Sini Johor juga oh Iya, dia ada Johor, Sarawak Macam zaman saya yeah, ada yeah. tiga je ha? uh. Zaman saya ada tiga je KL, Johor dan Sarawak I've always wanted to enter the one in Sarawak Because uh. I heard all the crazy things that went down there I'm like, I'm gonna join <laughs> <laughs> Faham? Yeah. Johor is very good lah, academic, bagus mm-hmm. But in terms of arts, I lagi suka Sarawak Anyways, cakap pasal kawan-kawan So, growing up, I tend to cepat filter kawan-kawan Uh, and then I keep my circle very close And then tahu-tahu sekarang I degree I ada kawan-kawan college Yang I rapat Yang berkawan Tapi we don't really hang out okay. And the friends I really hang out right now Honestly is just Three Four including my boyfriend And that's it mm. <laughs> Yeah but it's 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 nice that way right Yeah, yeah I mean mm. like You know when you keep your circle close Then mm. Macam mm. tak banyak hal lah Yeah Macam mm. ramai orang pun Macam mm. tak banyak nak involve mm. Tapi macam lain Dengan karakter you dengan ID Dalam ID mm. You ada seorang kawan mm. Tapi masalah dia You tanggung semua eh <laughs> <laughs> Macam like you terpaksa eh Ambil semua masalah dia mm. Kau tengok I count juga masalah-masalah uh. dia True <laughs> Tapi dia Dia karakter dia Dia more like 
be a very supporting punya yeah. kawan mm. tau. Dia jenis dia, dia, dia yang macam lain. Mm. Contoh eh, kalau saya cakap kat awak eh, macam Pali, saya nak bunuh orang. Awak cakap, ah, tak apa. Yeah. Dia memang jahat. Tak memang apa. Memang dia dibunuh. Ha, nanti aku cover lah. Ha. Ha. Dia macam sangat. Aku support. buat lebay lah untuk kau. <laughs> Sanggup ke? Ha? So dia lah kalau oh, movie, eh. movie Kalau nah, betul tak nah, lain like nah, Okay faham <laughs> wah, tak, Saya ada tanggungan oh. <laughs> <laughs> eh, Satu lagi kan Saya ada satu soalan Pasal dalam ID juga mm. Dalam ID kita tahu yang Ali punya karakter uh, Anak yatim mm. uh, Ayah dia dah meninggal And dia estrange dengan mak dia Mm-mm. Jadi macam Awak rasa susah tak untuk awak Bawa macam you know, This feeling of Contohnya macam Aku mak ayah okey je Macam mana hmm. nak rasa Ataupun macam you know Basically channel What other people feel When macam you know Parents don't are estranged from them hmm. Maksudnya susah tak benda tu Sebenarnya so, benda tu challenge tak untuk awak Not really Not because I have uh, Really big issues with family It's just that Um, a lot of apa yang apa yang Ali rasa, a lot of Gen Z dapat rasa. Mm-hmm. There's something about our generation, you know, dengan <laughs> dengan this kind of problem. I mean, not that we were born with it, yeah. you know. It's just the condition. It's just the condition yeah. of the world right now, honestly, kan? Yeah. Uh, macam mana dunia sekarang. But I don't blame anyone. Uh, dia tak susah. In fact, most of the dialogues yang yang ada pada Ali is is actually true from a perspective of a lonely, do- a, a, a lonely daughter kan oh. because she chose to not be in touch with the mother mm-hmm. it must be a very heartbreaking um, past for yeah. her sampai mak sendiri pun mm-hmm. sanggup nah ah mm-hmm. because ah because, uh, because because bila i baca baca masa i first baca script kan i wondered who my mom was And when they told me it was Susan Lancaster, I'm going to give it to my dad. Lah. <laughs> my dad was a huge fan of Susan Lancaster. Oh, Susan Lancaster. <laughs> Dia terus yang macam, Susan Lancaster? Oh, she's rocking it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's still rocking it. <laughs> it was an honor. It's not it, It's not hard. Yang susah adalah nak control nerve. Being in one frame with Susan, the Susan Lancaster. Yeah. And as amazing as she is, she was also very nice huh? and understanding. I mean, I think a lot of people pun macam, I think younger generation, mm. uh, it's not like macam, it doesn't come, up, they macam almost respect, tapi also at the same time macam like you, you just feel the the hebejibis tau, before mm. nak do something yang macam like, eh, dia ni macam famous, tak kira, dia nak, awak pernah rasa macam tu apa? Selalu. Sekarang pun sama juga. Sekarang. Takut. Tapi betul tu, hmm. masa first I kena macam, you know, like kena sparring dengan Naim Daniel kan. Yeah. I macam, damn, like, look what he has won. <laughs> and then the things that he has achieved, yeah. he has achieved. And I macam, hmm. oh, I berbesar hati je lah. Cuma nervous. Tapi during first day of rehearsal dengan Naim, I balik tu, I terus cakap, damn, it's so easy to get into Naim Daniel's frequency. Hmm. Because he is very... This is I'm not being biased. Ah. He is very down to earth. He's very he is very grounded. He opens his 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 atmosphere to other people. So it's very easy to vibe with him. Yeah, I think that's yeah. very important chemistry. Kan? Mm-hmm. So and then I really appreciate the rehearsals lah because the rehearsal kita orang buat tu. I tak pernah shoot long form yang yeah, rehears rehears as serious as this. Mm-hmm. And I'm very glad that we actually did. I think even without the rehearsals pun the cassette I can still vibe with Naim macam tu saja because. He's very easy to 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 get to you know to it's so easy to enter his frequency. Mm-hmm. I think that's interesting though. Like you know, macam I mean, my experience with Naim so far, mm. with, you know, doing marketing with him is that he's he's very down to earth. Mm. And dia jenis yang macam like oh boleh boleh ah uh, macam mm. ni friendly or dengan dengan dia pun pelakar. Yeah. Ada pelakar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sangat kelakar. Kelakar dia macam. Hmm. Uh, hantar-hantar pun pelik kat TikTok. Uh, 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 I pun hantar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Watching you. <laughs> Tapi I perasa dia je tu jenis yang peramah. So that mm-hmm. like the first time you met him, you rasa macam you dah kenal dia lama. Yes. True. Rasa macam kawan zaman sekolah. Padahal yeah. macam baru first time jumpa. Betul. I totally agree with that. Hmm. Hey, so macam mana you build ke- uh, chemistry untuk karakter Ellie dengan IT? Oh, this is interesting. Mm-hmm. I, boleh lah cerita ke waktu rehearsal. One of the first games yang kita ramai. Okay. Modi League. One of the first games yang we played was kita kena look into each other's eyes. I dengan Naim. Like eye to uh-huh. eye dengan Naim. And then kita kena cakap benda yang kita rasa boleh boleh buat partner kita, kita punya sparring tu 
macam i geramnya oh. uh, and then i tak jujur i hmm. cakap benda yang cover-cover je <laughs> tapi dia cakap dengan aku <laughs> dia lepas semua <laughs> tak ada filter tak ada filter <laughs> i sebab macam takkan aku nak cakap apa yeah. yang aku nak cakap ni kan <laughs> so i cakap apa tau i macam takut-takut dan i cakap um You tak rasa ke you terlalu muda untuk dapat semua ni Which is a compliment Haa <laughs> betul <laughs> Tak tahu apa nak kata Lepas tu dia macam Oh biasa lah Tak terasa sangat lah kan <laughs> dia, And then dia cakap kat I um, I nak berlaku lagi banyak daripada ni Aku lah hati Tapi Tapi that's when I know yang macam Oh Hmm. Tapi he did not The way that he said it Did not mean it in a very cocky way uh, That's when I know that Naim Daniel has a very nice soul uh, yeah. That's how I macam Okay he's a very nice person uh. Yeah <laughs> so, so, so dekat set macam ni You dengan Emilia Macam ni you dengan Eddie Best okay um, I had talked a lot juga dengan Emilia Dengan Eddie tak sangat Dengan dengan Eddie Asha macam hujung-hujung tu Baru kita ada sing together okay. So even dengan Emilia <laughs> Nanti kan nah. <laughs> Tapi dengan Amelia She's very fun to be with mm-hmm. uh, And Dia pun crack juga Gelap yeah, juga I agree huh. I, I mean like The reason why I love her Is that like Setiap kali jumpa kan Macam she she She's like Naim mm-hmm. Very down to earth Macam mm-hmm. like sangat friendly But also she has the hot goss Yes She always comes with the gossip <laughs> <laughs> I, the, the, For that reason I love <laughs> I macam suka orang yang datang dekat I kan Walaupun I tak kenal Sampai hmm. dia cerita tu Tapi dia cerita dekat I Dia yeah. macam like Dia tak boleh macam tu Macam hmm. tiba I pula macam I'm part of dia punya circle hmm. Tiba I pula yang tahu Pasal kawan-kawan dia ke Apa ke yang dia cerita So hmm. I macam like Damn She treats me like a friend <laughs> <laughs> Yeah And her And I, I guess it's her It's her upbringing jugalah Yang You know um, She looks like The way that she talks We know that dia bukan cakap kosong. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of pretty girls that I know, mm. a lot of <laughs> cakap kosong kan. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi yeah, she's not like that. Yes. She she has a facts and you might as well not mess with her lah. Mm. Because she know what she's talking about which I really like. Uh, which I totally respect. Out of Best? all the scenes so far kan mm. dalam ID macam so far kita tengok lah. Mm-mm. Apa yang you rasa like is the hardest one for you to shoot so far? Hardest one for me to shoot eh? The most challenging one to shoot is actually the one with Naim. The the scene yang gaduh. Uh, gaduh. Tapi macam banyak gaduh dalam situ hmm. tu kan. Tapi lah. Gaduh yang mana? Satu ke dua? Gaduh yang he left for good. No, the one yang he left for good tu. Episode 4. Episode 4 yeah, kan? Yang yeah, baru ni. Yang latest one. You see, when it comes to acting. Because I was from... I will, I background on theatre. Mm-hmm. So, kita orang punya pingpong lain. Dengan yeah. dengan ping, dengan kita balas dengan yeah, yeah. television kan? Mm. So, what I practice during uh, for theatre is that bila orang tu balas tinggi, you boleh balas dengan tinggi. It depends mm-hmm. on the director. It depends on the actor. It depends on on where, which direction that you want to go. Tapi when you have the power to to control, um, some some characters they they tend to macam dah kena marah and then dia nak marah balik hmm. tu dia baling tinggi gila tau. Which is actually not nice hmm. dekat dekat television yang I perasan. Tapi dekat theatre it's fine because it's hmm. it's big kan. Yeah. You have to be big. Because I thought I was going very high. And then there were few cuts yang diorang macam minta like tone down, tone down. Hmm. Because I perasan dengan Abang Eli which I betul-betul bersyukur I belajar benda ni. Hmm. Dengan Abang Eli... Dia, I should know this long time ago, but I just know that frame you kecil ni je, so mm. you alter uh, kecil kan. Mm. And that is the most simplified way to tell an actor to kecilkan your lakonan. Uh, frame you kecil ni, so you rasa macam mana you patut tunjuk. Yeah. Uh, instead of telling kecil kan, sebab yeah. skill besar kan. Kecil kan tu pun boleh sampai 10 juga. Betul. So... I think that one is the hardest part. And then I hate looking at myself dekat monitor but I have to hmm. see my play kan. I even hate hearing myself. Dengar, <laughs> dengar, dengar balik pun macam oh, apa benda tu kan. <laughs> uh, and then I was like I had to uh, to dengar balik and tengok balik and we had to like tak lah banyak tak banyak take pun tapi sebab kepercayaan sebab I rasa macam I buat tu lagi puas tapi Abang Eli kata yang ni lagi best. So hmm. kepercayaan tu is not easy. Because it's your face nanti kan? Ya, yeah, betul. Uh, so I think yang tu, nak nangis ke, tak nangis ke, Ali ni keras, dia patut nangis ke. Mm. 
Ah uh, benda tu semua macam kira juga. Not a lot of people actually perasan benda tu. I think one more interesting fact that I just remember mm. was that during the press conference hari tu when mm. we were talking you mentioned something about bila you as Ali dalam cerita tu. Do you want to tell mm. like you know more about it? <laughs> My apa rumah ai eh rumah Ali. Ah uh, rumah, rumah Ali. Uh, rumah Ali. Oh rumah Ali tu. Okay. rumah Ali, you know an actor kan dia orang apa nak construct exterior look character tu they would actually go beyond not beyond lah they would actually go until nak pakai apa nak make up macam mana tapi I sebab I tahu I kenal production designer dia because I'm dating him yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I macam cable cable <laughs> nanti I bagi tahu macam mana kita orang dapat tahu kita orang sekerja sekali <laughs> But that uh, that shit pun tak apa. <laughs> um, so um, I've always wondered kalau karakter ni ada bilik, karakter ni bilik dia macam mana. That is a, that is one thing that applied to all of the characters that I did. Mm-hmm. Because it makes sense. Ah, huh? uh, Macam it makes sense. Macam ada few times yang macam I tak rasa time ni dia rushing dia akan pakai gelang dan rantai sebagainya. So I akan mm-hmm. drop the, the the wardrobe lah. So, and I imagine bilik dia macam mana. I cakap, I cakap dengan the production designer Rabbani Suja. I cakap dengan dia, I think Ali has yellow and blue walls. And then he was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then what I did was, I buka Pinterest board dia. Sebab dia mm. ada dia punya own um, sketches and ideas and also research lah. Mm. Uh, that is beyond internet. Uh. Tapi easy access is internet. And mm. the the only access I can get through is not his files, not his sketches, but his phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I buka Pinterest and I Google, and then I search uh, yellow and blue interior design. Yellow and blue interior uh. design. Keluar mm. banyak. And he's like, you know what? Uh, it's not that bad. Hmm. And then I terus macam, see, I told you it's not that bad. Pop, pop, <laughs> dua, hari, dua, hari, dua hari lepas, dua hari kemudian tu, saya top, ha. Huh? <laughs> Jadi. <laughs> Jadi. But the design was approved by Alien and uh, everyone lah. Uh. Because I feel like macam bilik Ali encapsulates her personality. Hmm. Macam dia cakap, macam you know, you can see hmm. dia ada benda yang macam Gen Z, but also there's things that you can tell that she's a film enthusiast. Film enthusiast. And, and she likes things that are vintage and yes. you know she's an old soul though. she's an old uh. soul she even she looks like she thrifts uh-uh. yeah, dia nampak macam dia pergi you Terus know GDR tamat tamat. <laughs> <laughs> budak tamat <laughs> <laughs> oh okay it's interesting I I love the wardrobe working with Lulu oh. dia uh, I, I I suka wardrobe dia This, the pattern on pattern mm, Some, a bit quirky yes uh, well. mm very interesting. You thought that hari tu we were doing the research on the latest episode tau and then I saw someone tweeted macam dah dah empat episode ingatkan um, Susan Lancaster's character Nadi uh-huh. was um, Amelia's mom. Uh. She was Ali's mom. Mm. Dan semua ingat tu mak Amelia. Mm. Amelia. Uh. I would I would think too. Same. I mean like the first time mm. I reviewed it I thought to mak dia until dia panggil mak dia nama and then I'm mm. like eh kan mak aku mm. Adi that's a name mm. so macam after a while bila kita tengok macam like oh okay you know it makes sense I think the reason why people would say that is because macam how close they mm. look alike tak adalah macam nampak well, sangat but you, you would tell that they are related related uh, somehow one way or another yeah I agree I forgot who said this tapi someone told me that um, dia orang kata it, it somehow the the difference to it It, it, it's quite acceptable and it works sebab untuk ID Ali mm. I memang tak cakap English langsung yeah. because she she doesn't seem like the the type yang would actually speak English kan mm. dia punya Tokyo Remy pun yang dia yang dia explain pun like jiwang yeah. dengan, dengan segala bendanya lah but then bila dengan mak dia dengan Susan dengan Nadi when she speaks English orang akan macam oh dia boleh cakap bahasa Inggeris so I like that transition Ah, uh, It's mm-hmm. drastic Tapi dia macam Oh sebenarnya Dia dengan family dia macam ni mm-hmm. Kan benar kan Macam kawan kita oh, Dengan family kau baik eh, Kau betul-betul baik tu uh. Kau buka rantai kan Mana tahu <laughs> Sama <laughs> Macam sama <laughs> uh, So I like that um, Some people actually say drastic Tapi it's just that I dengan family pun Ada part saya tak tunjuk It makes sense mm-hmm. sebenarnya Sebab kita pun kat dunia ni Kita ada a few faces Yang kita akan yeah. tunjukkan mm-hmm. You don't need to know Buka muka bro uh, <laughs> I think I just have like One last question from me lah mm-hmm. I would um, I would just Like to ask you Macam 
ramai masa I tengok and some of my team pun tau speculate tau macam nantilah by the end of it kan mm. uh, mm. tu orang rasa macam Ali ni macam secretly in love je dengan ID yes. oh, what, what is your take on that because it's your character so do you think that your character is actually secretly in love with ID mm. or is it just macam uh, a friend punya I don't know mm. macam platonic love I see. You know what? Good question. Because I, during character research, I pun ada one one note yang I circle, mm. betul-betul circle lah. Do they have love interest towards each other? Mm. Can Because kalau nak ikutkan, it's what, I think a lot of people would actually expect that juga. Mm-hmm. Because, because in 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 any other way, it's quite cliche lah. Yeah, kan? Untuk yeah. jatuh cinta dengan kau punya best, best friend, friend kan? Mm-hmm. But then, I rasa lah, I pun, I pun ada speculate juga. I rasa Ali dengan ID ni, if ada benda yang spark dia orang sikit je, I rasa dia orang boleh jatuh cinta. Mm. Ya, yeah, betul. And, tapi perjalanan dia tu would be very bumpy mm. lah. Um. And Ali ni pula macam nak alpha, alpha, mm. alpha. Yeah, alpha. Like api dengan api. <laughs> api dengan api, <laughs> kan. Uh, ID tu pula dalam diam dia, dia adalah ada punya kepala barang dia lain lagi uh. bila dia rasa dia ada the validation from the yes. society or whatever <laughs> kan lagi lah dia rasa mm. macam I can do this and I can do that tapi I think what makes it more apparent is that macam we saw that every time ID ada problem dia nervous ke tak mm. nak cakap depan orang ke apa like he, Ali is the first person he would call yeah. so macam it, it strengthens or solidifies more the fact <laughs> that macam you know, the, the jodoh allegation mm. never gets written lah basically True. Yeah. <laughs> but tapi, can you tapi, imagine Diorang berdua pun ada seorang kawan je. Uh, uh, <laughs> nak call siapa je? Ya, diorang pun macam ada betul tu. Nak FaceTime siapa kan? Kan ada nak call mak dia. Kita nak tegur Remy. Itu betul. Uh, 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 Can you imagine kalau dia act macam, okay let's say kan, kita bayangkan ini uh, next season ke apa ke, yes. tapi like the cerita after mm-hmm. season 1 ni. Mm. Can you imagine kalau diorang betul-betul actually bercinta anggun dengan ID? It's going to be quite sad for Ali juga because mm. you know kita I rasa kita semua pernah go through the phase yang macam best friend kita dah ada girlfriend ataupun boyfriend. Uh. Kan? And then kita kena we have to accept it because they are happy. Betul. Because you want to be a good friend. Yeah, mm. you want to be a good friend but also you don't want to lose a friend. Betul. I mean that's true though. Kan? Sedih lah sebenarnya untuk Ali. tapi mungkin dia akan bagi kesedaran kepada Ali juga. Betul. Kan? Betul. It's time it's time for her to date lah. Cik. Tak perlu go out. <laughs> Mungkin Ali dengan Jasmine. <laughs> Mana tahu? Dia <laughs> cakap lari dia. Lain lain Tapi kita tak tahu. Hmm. Kita tak tahu. Mungkin, mungkin. Mungkin kita tengok episod 5, 6, 6. Oh, sekarang baru 4 kan? Ya, baru 4. Dah tengok pergi sana. Yo, kita, kita tengok episod 5, 6, 7, 8. Nak tahu. Hmm. Uh, adakah Ali end up dengan Jasmine ke tak? <laughs> jeng, jeng, jeng. Yeah. Oh, saya ada soalan. Okay. Sebagai Ali lah. Your character is Ali. Your character is Ali. Your character is Ali. Your character is Ali. Ha? Dengan agent Ali, I don't know why. As character Ali tu kan. Is uh, ID a douchebag? Ali. Ali eh, not Tengku Remy. No, ID. Ali, ID. Uh, ID. I, I saw ID. ID. I don't think ID is a douchebag. Mm-hmm. Um, because Ali to me eh, in my opinion, I rasa macam Ali has... Um, has inserted this idea of kalau nak jadi someone yang macam Tengku Remy kena jadi douchebag because mm. you know like how they say like girls like bad yeah, boys yeah, yeah. and uh-huh. uh-huh. this one bukanlah bad boy yang suka tumbuk orang dia mungkin bad boy yang macam puf dah tepi jalan je ke uh-huh. <laughs> bad boy yang Papa. bad boy yang macam curi sneakers kat pasal dia KK je ke kan <laughs> okay. one of the questions lah okay antara ID Tengku Remy dan Jasmine, which one do you prefer lah? Kalau you and Liza. I akan pergi dekat ID lah. ID? Yes. Hmm. Someone who is, um, couldn't be bothered with anything else. Hmm. Sebenarnya, I rasa ID, kalau dia tengok live dia in a different perspective, dia boleh je happy. Because, it's susah. Sebenarnya kan, one of the messages yang ada dalam cerita ID ni, after I, you know, baca berlakon that, that that particular series kan I rasa macam it has a big fat lesson towards people with internet internet lah basically okay. because when you are so you often watch your you tengok, you tengok phone kan uh-huh. you live up to expectations tau sebenarnya macam macam what I'm going through right now lah macam 
ke memang ke, I kena ada it's hard to impress my daily audience hmm. because hmm. people would expect um, certain things from me kan hmm. uh, macam as it, it, it is as simple as kenapa kau tak bagi event tu uh, the answer is I do not want to go hmm. but macam oh kau kena pergi hari tu aku pergi aku jumpa ni ni bas yeah, gila yeah. and after that after party ni ni so and then macam ah uh, to blend in I have to go lah sebenarnya because mm. if I stay home I tak you know I tak gain apa apa mm. kan yeah. so because yes planted that that features dekat kepala dia so it makes me makes him think that nak jadi someone influencer kena jadi sebegini yes hmm Yeah, and also, I, macam I think because we're digital first generation, true. Mm. Macam kita kena build our presence on social media, kena bagi tahu siapa yep. kita, apa kita suka, apa kita buat. Mm-hmm. And kalau tak, macam I mean, I'm not saying that like you're not gonna make it atau mm. tak relevant. It's just that mm, in today's day, and yeah. age, mm. that is the industry punya requirement. True, true, true. Yeah. And I totally agree because it's entertainment. Mm. It it is entertainment, and actually I find joy juga in doing that. Mm. In like like having to, much like I'm having to uh, vlog your daily life. Oh, you do Wait, vlogs? Um, I'm trying. Oh, <laughs> struggling, <laughs> but I'm trying. Much <laughs> <laughs> like I'm because I like to watch other people's vlogs, okay. especially during PKP. I watch Vivi Yusof pergi Korea. Uh. <laughs> you know all those things, can uh. all those all those things? I lie and juga sebenarnya. It's it's not. I I do not wish to have that life yang you know catch flights not feelings it would be fun it would be fun yes I mean you know it's, uh, most of the days I just I want to stay home <laughs> again oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah okay. so but then looking at looking at those um what I rasa macam hmm I I would like to do that I would I would try I would like to try to do that and then when when they told me to grow my my social media. It's actually it's actually very fun, you know, mm. um, because the the contents that semua orang buat, kita tahu orang ni buat for cloud or orang ni buat yeah. nak tunjuk siapa diri dia. Uh, I think uh, what we lack of, ah, uh, okay, I think what we lack of is the interest to watch apa yang orang tu yang sebenarnya mm. instead of apa yang yang dia kena buat. Macam instead of waking up at 11am to go to Pilates, it's more interesting to watch 11am and going going somewhere else. Yeah. Doing somewhere, something else. Huh. You know? Hmm. Again. And that reflects back on what is ID or yeah. um, macam dalam ID kita tengok who do you want to be yes. and what do you want to portray on social media. Yes. It, it, exactly that. Jadi kalau korang semua nak tahu apa akan jadi dekat ID and want to see more of Eliza Azizi, hmm. you guys can go on Astro On Demand right now untuk tengok malam ni pukul 12 malam. Korang dapat tengok, oh, sorry, every Thursday. Every Thursday. Uh, every Thursday. So macam, okay, kalau hari ni hari Kamis, <laughs> malam tu pukul 12, korang pergi tengok. Kira I... malam ni lah, video ni keluar kami. Ah, betul. Ah, betul. Ah, <laughs> Tak apa pun Pasta Dia pening <laughs> Saya pun tak boleh cakap hari ni ha. Sebab saya eh, Kita kita dulu Penatan Korang tak sahur semalam kan ha. Sebab kita orang ha. Ada cerita korang, 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 korang tak buat kurma bata tu eh Tak ada energy I buat You buat kurma bata tu buat Sedap Sedap lah Tapi I'm not fan of kurma Ya I tengok ada kurma yang petai But Okay Before we get more side track Kalau korang nak tengok ID And want to see more of Eliza and Izzy Make sure korang tune in on On Demand pukul 12 malam ni untuk episod baru hmm. atau buat esok korang boleh tengok di Astro Premier Channel 410 pukul 9 malam. But thank you so much Eliza for being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so you. much. The cerita pasal you know your experience in IT. Which I do need to talk about that. Hmm. Lot of people tak tahu kan? Hmm. Hmm. Journal, journal. Ah. <laughs> thank All you. Alright. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright. And See you guys in the next episode of Shore Real.